Now, South Africa's Deputy President David Mabuza has officially launched the 64-dish Meerkat Array, which is a significant milestone in radio astronomy, and this took place in Carnarvon in the northern cape of the country. Now, the Meerkat is the world's largest radio telescope of its kind, and that's until the Square Kilometre Array has been completed. Here's CGTN's Angelo Coppola, who was there. The team responsible for the Meerkat project consisted mostly of South Africans, including members of the communities in the area. Some $230 million was spent on the various elements. They built the telescope that is the best of its kind in the world. They made an image of the very center, the core of our Milky Way galaxy, 30,000 light years. They made the clearest, sharpest image ever made by anyone on Earth. This is a very significant uh, project. Uh, that sets uh, the country on a path towards a development. Um, well, it's not, uh, it's not South Africa alone that would uh, benefit. All the countries that came together to contribute are going to benefit. The Meerkat and SKA project is a continent-wide initiative. It involves eight African countries and covers anything from creating a new telescope in Ghana to establishing training telescopes in others. There's also a strong educational component. We've already graduated uh, quite a number of PhDs uh, that have gone back to their countries. Uh, many of them initiated the discipline of astronomy in their own universities, which, which was not the case before. The Meerkat project is a precursor to the first phase of the actual SKA project, which will see another 133 dishes or radio telescopes developed, built and erected in the Northern Cape. It's going to be funded by Canada, China, India, Italy, New Zealand, Spain, Sweden, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom. The infrastructure phase of the SKA-1 uh, you know, should, should, should begin, uh, I believe, let's say in about a you know, a year to two years' time. The Meerkat program is a massive achievement, which will pale when compared to SKA Phase 1, which will consist of 133 dishes or antennae. That one will have, by the way, antennas here in the Karoo that are spaced out to 120 or 100, and maybe even 50 kilometers, rather than just the 8 kilometers. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it is three times, four times as many antennas altogether, dishes, but spread over much longer no, distances. Easy. While this is a major milestone, it's the first of many steps into a better understanding of the universe in which we live and what's been happening over hundreds and millions of years. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Carnarvon in the Northern Cape.